Hello, hello! It's Speak Now 3, Lesson 10, Part A. Sorry, my mistake. Um, what is this about? In this lesson, we are learning how to point out mistakes politely. Tá tudo errado! Não é assim que faz! Uh, that's not exactly the most polite way to point out mistakes or to mostrar que tem um erro. And this is also about apologizing for mistakes. This is obviously apologizing, right? Sorry, my mistake is apologizing, saying you are sorry. But pointing out mistakes is an art. We, most of the time, we don't want other people to get sad, angry, because of what we are saying. So when we point out mistakes, we should do that politely to help people not to get sad or these things. The first exercise is about some ways that people point out mistakes. Let's complete the sentences with the correct words. And we have these words here. Overcharge, undercharge, receipt, misspelled, change, missing. Well, I believe that we understand all these words. Over is acima. Overcharged is overcharge is when we charge something more than it values. For example, imagine that this pencil costs mm, one real and the person charges you two reais. It was overcharged. Um, receipt. Receipt is the, the recibo or something like that. Misspelled. Spelled incorrectly not spelled correctly. So imagine the name that is not correct is misspelled. Change. You give some money for something and the person gives you back the difference between, for example, imagine that you pay this pencil 10 reais with a bill of 10 reais and it's only one. The person gives you nine reais of change, nine reais change. Missing. Um, imagine that the person gives you back eight reais and then you can say, oh, there's one real missing because you, you want uh, the correct change. There's one missing. You need the extra one, right? And miss, faltar. Undercharged, imagine that the person charges you 50 cents and it's one real and you know it's one real. Would you accept that? Or would you say, oh, sorry, but I think it's one real, right? And you would, would you pay the correct value for it? Um, all right, we have these sentences and the idea is for us to put the right words in the right gaps. Complete the sentences with the correct words. Um, okay, let's see the, the options. This is the wrong. It belongs to that shopper. It belongs, so it's something. Pertence àquela pessoa. What could it be? Could it be the change? Because change is some money Receipt is something. It belongs, the change belongs to that shopper. I don't know. I think that receipt is better here. By the way, what is a shopper? And you are going to say, ah, um motoqueiro. No, that's chopper with C. A shopper is this. Look, these are two shoppers. They're shopping. They are making their shops, so they are shoppers. A driver is someone who drives. A shopper is someone who shops. 
or who buys things. Uh, two, the rice is, can someone deliver it right away? The rice is missing. Ah, tá sem arroz, galera. Como é que a gente vai comer feijão sem arroz? Com farofa? Right, okay, but the point is that uh, they want rice. You forgot my, I should get two dollars back. If you want money back, what's money back? Money back is change. You forgot my change. Você esqueceu o troco, or the other one. I hope the person really forgot, right? <laughs> In here, you blah me. So it's a verb here. I should get another ten dollars back. Another ten dollars back is that you wanted or you needed or you deserved. Você merecia more change. So you overcharged me. Cobrou a mais, tanto que deu menos troco, ok? You, my name on the ticket. Name. Name is misspelled. You didn't write my name correctly. And then it's misspelled. You, me. You, <laughs> the only one left is undercharged. I gave you 10, not 20. This is yours. So the person is giving more change than what they should. So you undercharged me. I want to pay more to pay the correct price. Like you. When you would buy the pencil, remember that? One real, not 50 cents. Be honest. Be honest. Okay, let's move on. Let's go and see part B. Tell your partner if you had to point out any mistakes recently. Uh, imagine, for example, I had to ask the bus driver for the correct change last week. What happened? He gave me a dollar back, but he owed me five. He owed me five. Uh, ele me devia cinco. Five dollars, right? Oh, imagine one to five is four dollars difference. Uh, it's a lot of money. You can have a little snack. What are the questions in the conversation? How much did the customer give the clerk? And how much change did he get back? Well, 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 we have here, look, a shopper giving the clerk some money. Let's take a look here. A closer look. Look. It looks like it's um, it's a clothes shop, and he's buying some stuff. This is the clerk. We can read here. <laughs> clerk is not the name. Is attendant or sales assistant. And he also works in the cash uh, registrator. And so, well, he is giving him some money. And then he gives him back the change. And it seems that there's some mistake. What is the mistake? The point is that we have here how much did the customer give the clerk and how much change did he get, he get back. Quanto que ele conseguiu de troco de volta? Is that correct or not? Let's see during the conversation. So let me play and you pay attention, okay? Just a sec to open the audio here, number twenty seven. Lesson ten. 
Sorry, my mistake. Page 24. Conversation. A. Listen, how much did the customer give the clerk? How much change did he get back? Hello. All set? Yes. Will that be cash or credit? I'll pay with cash. That comes to $35. Here you are. Thank you. And here's your change. Um, I think you gave me the wrong change. Really? I gave you $50. Right. You gave me only two $5 bills. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. I thought there were three bills there. No problem. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, I thought there were three bills. Uh -huh. How much did the customer give the clerk? Oh, come on, I won't tell you. You have to find it. It's in this column here. How much he gives to the clerk? And how much change did he get back? Oh, are you good with math? Do you have a calculator? The answer is here, and you tell me in the live lesson, all right? Well, 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 then we have a second part. Well, obviously in the live lesson we are going to practice the conversation, and then we are going to find the best places to add the sentences below to the conversation. Look, we have one, two, three, four sentences, and we have one, two, three, four gaps. What are the sentences? Are you sure? All set? Yes. Really? I think you gave me the wrong change. Really? <laughs> Uh, right, and I thought there were three views here, there. Uh, one is, are you sure? Two, here's the correct change. Three, just this sweater, please. And four, and how much did I give you? How much did I give you? And, well, I, I, I think that you should try to do that, and you tell me in the live lesson your answers, and then we check together, okay? So try to do that, and we talk in the live lesson. So this was the lesson preparation for lesson 10A that I liked very much, especially because of this vocabulary and the point, the topic, because we are going to learn how to correct others politely. See you later. Bye-bye.